Hi, welcome to chapter one of tutorial two for collections managers on SARIS. In the previous tutorial, we completed the setup of your museum and the creation of our first object as an example. Uh, for this chapter, we are going to move on to the tracking movements register of the objects. And so your accessioning and transfers and loans, all of those processes around the movements of the objects around the museum are going to be done in this particular chapter before we move on to condition assessments, valuations and reports. So i have back at our object, TN001, and to, to move our object into our museum, it's currently not located anywhere, I'm going to go to Create, Objects, Object Movements. If I had imported lots of objects, um, I could move multiple objects in one movement form, into a particular location. The only condition is that in the in that particular movement you are picking one location at a time. You can't move multiple objects into multiple locations in, in one movement. The reference is a compulsory field and it's marked with a red star. So give it something clear, say the setup of the museum, or it might be um, you know loan from Mr. Demo. Know, whatever the um, context of this particular movement is, just give it a nice short reference. So I'm going to use setup, and then the date is default to today, um, so normally that would be left alone unless you'd like to backdate the, the movement. The person or institution, that's um, the person f from which the object has come, so if it's loan from the demo, then you put, um, you know, say, John Demo in here. It can also be an institution, so you can enter a company there, or another museum perhaps, uh, so it will depend on what, you know, what the context of this object um, is. So the audience is, again, you select the museum uh, that this object belongs to. Then the visibility settings for all movements are always private so you don't actually see that it's not necessary to set it to private because they it always is private then the movement type we can choose amongst various options here so you have accessions and deaccessions and then you have transfers receiving and sending out on loan and then the setup option as well so I'm going to choose setup for this one the in out type um, we can leave that blank if we're using setup, um, but for accessions, you might choose one of these options to make it clearer what the context of the accession is. The location code, remember we set up our location codes earlier, so this will only show the location codes that are um, in the organic group that I'm a member of. Uh, test, again, is a public one, so that also shows up in my list but normally you will only see just the locations that you've set up. So I'm going to set this into uh, the open room. And then the movement note, again, it's an administrative note. You can option me enter something in, uh, about this, this movement. The object ID, that'll be the code that I just created. Okay, and let's have a look. There it is. And if I had multiple objects, I could click add another item and add other items that are going to move into the same location in this movement. If I'd like to do multiple movements, I can click save and add another. Uh, but in this case, I'm just going to click on save. And that is how easy it is to s move your object around the museum. So here we've set it up and we'll go back to our object in a second. Um, I'm going to click this in a new tab, uh, sorry, the object code. Uh, this shows my movement form uh, and all the information I completed. So if I had multiple objects, it would list them down here at the bottom. So let's have a look back at our object. And now we have object track enabled and the current location is test OR001. If I click on test OR001, it will take me to an explanation of that location. Um, this block is only available to members of the organic group, so members of the public won't even see this 
block at all when viewing the object, even if this is in public. To show you what I mean, um, let's sign in as another user. There's our object. This is what the members of the public can see. It's currently set to public, so they don't need to be members of the organic group to see the object. But the object tracker is invisible. So all the lo detailed location information of the object is completely hidden from the public. This is only for members of the organic group. And that is the end of chapter one for tutorial two. We'll now move on to condition assessments.